confidence in the fourth quarter following the Philly game? In what ways was this fourth quarter similar? I didn't think we had open shots. <laughs> I thought they locked us up. I thought they put a great defense. We, we couldn't we couldn't find clear looks. I think Jared had one one in the lane after you know after a timeout. He, you know there was a travel or something, but I can't. It wasn't like Philly where I felt like we had we had a ton of open looks. We didn't have open looks. It's a credit to their um, their defense. I thought they were um, superb defensively, and and, uh, and obviously we weren't at our at our best offensively. Ball you know, ball stuck a lot. I was gonna ask about that. Eleven assists tonight. Yeah. Is that tribute to their defense also? Tribute to their defense, and I'm sure it's some of it's us. You know, I, I uh, you know uh, we'll have to look at it, but um, you know the ball stuck way too much. We did not move it uh, the way we need to. So it's gonna be a record for us. You know, eleven assists. That's just uh, you know not good enough. In your mind, was that? Was that them, or was that I, you? Or was that no, self? I, that was self inflicted. No, so Brian, no, I said that I thought listen, they're one of the best defensive teams in the league. They have been. Uh, Gobert makes a huge difference, and uh, you know they went small. They went with their small. They switched one, you know, one through four, and then they got the big guy back there to protect the paint. So even when they make a mistake, he's back there, and he's a huge, you know, obviously a a elite presence at the rim. So we we. We did not get good looks. We obviously turned it over. Um, you know, it's funny. Our offense was, you know, <laughs> doing pretty well overall this season. And, and I thought our, I will give credit to our defense. I thought, you know, it gave us a chance. Our defense gave us a chance. You know, 91-91 with six six minutes. But uh, obviously, Don, Donovan Mitchell made some, you know, made some, uh, you know, tough shots, and, and uh, we didn't get the shots we wanted. In that 15-4 run that they ended the game with. Uh, was there a particular problem you saw in trying to get Mitchell under control? We, we tried different things. I mean, we tried our best defender on, you know, Rondé, and, and uh, you know, he, uh, you know, hit, I thought he hit some tough shots, you know, tough floaters. Uh, over One was over Jared. Uh, then when he scored, you know, two or three in a row, we switched. We, we switched everything. So uh, he scored on a step once, he scored, and then I think once he missed. So we did change strategy. Uh, but uh, you know, credit to him, he made the plays, you know, down at the end of the game. I know you went with Rondé on him, but I was curious what you thought of Alan Crabb's defense on him for the first three quarters. It seemed like he was on his side. Yeah, no, and these are tough decisions at the end of the game, and, and uh, we felt like we needed some size. You know, we've had success with Rondé, you know, guarding, guarding uh, uh, you know, good perimeter players, uh, you know, in the pick and roll because he's so so long and so active, he can he can shed the pick pick and roll better, better than some of our other guys. So that that was the thinking. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody.